If you're not using keywords and key phrases, or if you're not researching your keywords or key phrases, then you need to watch this video. We're gonna go through a really simple process of how you can discover, research, and figure out what will be the best keywords and key phrases to use, because all they want are people to click and watch videos. That's all Google wants. YouTube is a search engine, and they want the attention of the people. What's up, everybody? Joshua Thomas Gray, today with another Amazing, life change, maybe, maybe life changing. Here on how to grow your YouTube channel using keywords and key phrases. Kind of just the SEO of when you're going through and uploading a video. I would say this is what you should be doing before you even create a video. And then how I actually research if anybody even wants to see or watch or learn about these subjects. YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet planet universe. And if you want to please the Google gods, you kind of need to pay attention to what they want. Please, oh Google gods, have mercy on me. Show us my video to someone. The potential of getting ranked on a keyword or key phrase could literally change your life. Without any further ado, let's jump into it and I'll show you the process of keywords, descriptions, and what your title should be. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have vidIQ. If you don't, go to vidIQ.com, make yourself an account. There's a free version, and even that is going to help you immensely. So make sure that you just sign up. If you can't pay for it, get the free version. This is what we're looking for, SEO search. What we're gonna do though is hop back over to YouTube. When you get an account on vidIQ, install the Google Chrome plugin. Now that you have vidIQ installed and you've got the Chrome plugin, this thing is awesome. It will help you so much. So a video that I just created that's gonna be uploaded here soon is a video about using Instagram to grow your YouTube account. So I wrote that out, but then I'm also coming up with a bunch of different ideas. And these titles, I'm using vidIQ's Keyword Inspector to help me to come up with a title that people are actually searching. So how to grow your YouTube channel. So a quarter of a million people are searching how to grow YouTube channel. And the competition is medium, which is not bad. So this is an awesome key phrase that you can use in the title, use this in the description, and actually put this as a keyword phrase in the keywords. What you want to try to do is put as many keywords, key phrases as possible that are very specific to what your video is going to teach somebody. So then because my video is going to be very specific about using Instagram to promote your YouTube channel, I'm gonna see if anybody's actually searching that. Using Instagram to promote YouTube. And there you have it. Pretty much nobody is actually searching using Instagram to promote YouTube. But then what's great about vidIQ is it starts giving you other suggestions how to promote your YouTube channel how to promote YouTube video from all this information you can start gathering if people are actually searching and want to know about this I would say yes there are hundreds of thousands of people a month looking at different ways of how to grow their YouTube channel now that doesn't mean that they're interested in how to use Instagram in making micro content and using that as a way to grow their YouTube channel so I want to make sure that I'm using the correct keywords to hopefully get the right people to my video. So now that I'm pretty okay with what kind of title ideas I have, we can jump back to YouTube and then we can go to the video. The four most important things to ensuring that your video is actually going to get clicked on and seen is a thumbnail, a title, the description, and the keywords. If you spend a little bit of time researching and using tools like vidIQ to come up with searchable content, making sure that you're nailing the SEO and making titles, descriptions, and keywords that all work together with a good thumbnail that is going to entice somebody to click, and then obviously making a good video that people are actually gonna watch and get value out of, that is it. That's all you have to do. The other thing is you don't need to double dip here your thumbnail doesn't need to say what your title says. I'm thinking that if people see this and they see grow faster, that's going to entice somebody who's looking to grow their social media accounts and then they're going to see the title and if it says something like grow your YouTube, they're gonna understand, oh, this is a video that's gonna show me how to grow my YouTube channel and then if they really look at it with Instagram. 
You don't want people to click on your video and then have them get into it for 20 seconds and realize that, hey, this video actually isn't what the thumbnail and the title made me believe it was going to be about because then they're going to bounce and they're not going to probably come back to your videos ever again. If your video can be very specific and the title can hit the keyword phrases that they've searched and then they click on your video and they get into it and watch all of it and if they thumbs it up and then they go watch another video, you have pleased the Google gods so much because all they want are people to click and watch videos. That's all Google wants. YouTube is a search engine and they want the attention of the people. Okay, this is where we're going to put a tag like grow your YouTube channel. What's awesome is this starts auto populating with things. YouTube channel, that's great. But then at this point, you can click right here and it'll pop it up. What is also amazing about this, it gives you a bunch of videos over here that are performing really well. So YouTube tips, and now I can just click these pluses and it's gonna put it up there. YouTube tips for beginners, yes. YouTube growth tips, definitely. So grow YouTube channel, 60,000 people search that a month, it's medium. Here we go, a quarter of a million people. How to grow your YouTube channel, of course. How to grow your YouTube channel fast. Okay, so I don't love the idea of fast because there's no guarantee of anything is going to work fast. Just because you do all this work does not mean that you're going to actually rank in a keyword or key phrase. I think though, if you do this for a long period of time and you make a lot of videos, it's more of a matter of time until one of your videos is going to rank at some point. But sure, let's hit it. How to grow your channel 2020, absolutely. These ones, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. How to grow on YouTube, totally. How to grow on YouTube 2020, how to grow your YouTube channel. Using Instagram to grow YouTube. Nobody searched that. How to grow Instagram, false. We don't wanna use something like this because if somebody goes on, searches how to grow on Instagram, sees my video and clicks it, they will be very disappointed because I'm talking about how to grow a YouTube channel and they probably don't even have a YouTube channel so they're gonna thumbs down the video and be pissed and that will displease the Google gods immensely Instagram growth no no social media marketing yeah absolutely grow on Instagram nah so as you can see this tool is insane it is so helpful because you know it takes all the guesswork out you're not using crappy keywords and phrases it's making sure that you're filling this with incredible, highly searched tags. The other thing that you wanna make sure you do is use up all of the available tags that you can. All of this information is going to help you write a description. Use as many of these keywords and key phrases as you can in your description. I'm gonna keep working on this and I'm gonna write a title for this as well, but I'm gonna save it for now and I'm gonna hop over to a video that's already live so in my description, I try to use as many of the key phrases and key words as possible. So a couple are ranking. And again, I do think that Google actually will care that I actually have videos that are ranking. I think that's really going to help my channel overall if I can get more and more videos that are ranking in keywords and key phrases. Insane. You can actually go back through all your old videos and change up your keywords. I don't suggest changing the title of your video. Once you've done that, kind of keep that alone. If you want to, go for it. The Google algorithm gods might banish you forever. So that video might never see the light of day. And this is just a great way to make searchable content on top of the stories that you want to tell. A lot of the times the stories and our personal stories that we want to share aren't something that people are going to Google and searching because nobody knows yet. So to build an audience of people, it might make sense for you to start making content like what I'm doing right now, teaching people about things who might be interested in the stories that I'm telling as well. So if I could get people to subscribe, by the way, you should subscribe, hit the little bell to keep yourself notified for when I upload next, and also make sure you thumbs this video up. All of those things really help the algorithm. And if you keep watching my video till the end, that also helps a lot. You wanna get over 50%
average view retention to please the Google gods and all their wisdom and abundance. Spend a little bit of the time to create this kind of content. It will definitely, absolutely help grow your YouTube channel in 2020. You win. They win. Everyone's winning. The Google gods are pleased and they will reward you. And if you get ranked, game over. Man, that video just keeps getting views. I hope that was helpful. Hope you learned something. I hope you actually start applying this and using it and doing it. Till next time, peace out guys.